you going to pay for that? Shoplifting. Blackmail. If you really want to go back to prison, you're going about it exactly the right way. That's more like it. That's like... Hmm. He nearly knocked me over. That dot is the big question. Right young man should be back at his job. It ain't good for him to have so little to do. I agree, but try telling Martin. Only what if you was taken ill? Or had to go away or something? Good point, Doc. What if? Hey, Spencer, mate, get us a drink, please. Listen, mate, I'm in enough trouble already without getting an earful for serving you. We, we could be on a plane by the end of the week. They say Malta's lovely. Why don't I phone book it right now, eh? Derek, I can't go now. Not what after Martin's just been through. He's got too much time on his hands, Paulie. Look, I'm his mother. I know what he can and can't cope with, and right now he still needs my support. You lied to his YOT officer about him being back on the store. How's that going to look, hmm? If he gets himself into trouble again? Look, you go, Derek, and I'll have a chat with Martin. I'm sure I can get him to go back on the store. He's a good boy, really. Yes, Paul, mate. Yeah, do us a favour. Get us a drink, will ya? Yeah, Martin, you know, when I was your age, which is underage, if I wanted a drink, you know what I always used to do? What? Well, I'd go somewhere where nobody knew me. So that's an O, then, is it? Good programme. Yeah. It's about the Bushmen of the Kalahari. Terrible the way they're being uprooted. They don't like modern life, it's driving them to drink. Right. Mm. Oh, Martin, um, Derek's going away on holiday. Oh, yeah? And he was wondering if you could cover on the stall for him. Oh, Mum, I'm sorry, I, I just can't face it at the moment. Well, couldn't you just give it a little try? Soon, I promise. I'm just not up to it yet. All right, Martin. In your own time. I'm sure I can find someone to cover. <laughs> 